Hey Booktube, it's Zia, and I am here with my May book haul for you guys. Um, I have a total of six books, uh, three graphic novels, and three physical books. And I have actually already read half of the things I've hauled this month, so that's a good start. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. I will first start, I will first start with the, uh, the three books that I hauled for May. The first one being the first thing that I bought this month, which I'm so excited to read. I haven't read it yet, but I'm going to be reading it very, very soon, and I am so excited. Um, as I normally, as I've talked about, I don't normally buy a lot of books brand new full price, but this is one that I knew I was going to buy, and that is Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I love The Illuminate Files. It's one of my favorite um, sci-fi slash fantasy series, and I'm really, really excited to pick this up. I know I've heard that it's not as good as the Illuminate Files. I've heard it's also very different. Um, I don't know where I'm going to fall, but I'm super, super excited to read it. And I love both of these authors. And the cover is purple and black and amazingness. And I am so excited to read this. I'm hoping to get to this in June, but we shall see. But um, this was a splurge for me. I did buy, pay full price and cover price for this, which don't do very often except for special rare occasions. And this was one of those times, but I am so excited to pick this up and read it. The next book is actually my May Blue Spider Books um, subscription service book. And for May, it was called The Last Wish. This is the um, book, this is a book series that inspired the Witcher games. Um, I'm really excited to read this because it's not actually something I would have picked up on my own without getting in the subscription service. I don't know what my family feel about it. I know people love the Witcher series. Um, and I love fantasy. I love dragons. And so... Um, by the cover, it's definitely not something I would have just picked up, but I'm really excited to step out of my comfort zone a little bit and pick this up. Um, I will quickly read the back here. It says, uh, Geralt of Rivia, of Rivia is a witcher, a cunning sorcerer, a merciless assassin, and a cold-blooded killer. His sole purpose, to destroy the monsters that plague the world. But not everything monstrous is looking but not everything monstrous looking is evil, and not everything fair is good. And in every fairy tale, there is a grain of truth. The last, wit, the last wish, the international hit that inspired the video game, The Witcher. I am really excited to read this. This is also um, an older fantasy series, so it's definitely not something that is in my um, my radar to pick up. But I'm really excited to give it a read. If you have played The Witcher series or if you're a fan of The Witcher series, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to chat about this. Um, and if you've read this series, what are your thoughts about it? But um, I'm really excited to give this a try. And the third book that I picked up, I actually just recently picked up and I have already read. And that's called Summer Love by Jill Stan Stepolo. Stip um, this is a kind of choose-your-own-adventure-ish um, YA contemporary where you know it starts out in a scenario and then it's one of those turn to page 117 if you want to go with what's his face to walk his dog or turn to page 15 if you want to sit by the pool um so it's kind of a choose your own adventure book definitely something i would have not picked up i'm actually participating in pages of fun which is a two week long um readathon hosted by a couple hosts on instagram which i will link there um the pages down below and one of the challenges and one of the prompts was to pick up a book you wouldn't normally read i was just browsing the shelves at my bookstore i happened to see this i knew it was going to be super short um i happened to see this it's super short it's like 220 pages it was figured it was something different it wasn't something i would normally pick up um, I read this, I won't go too much about it, but I didn't really care for it, um, I'll talk about it more in my wrap up, but I did haul this in May, I did read this in May, don't know if I'm going to keep it, I might pass it on, but I did pick this up, um, and, uh, the back here just says, are you ready to find love? In this follow your heart book, you can choose your happy ending, which can result in a kiss from one of 11 swoon worthy guys. Do you want to flirt with the lifeguard, or would you like to go on a romantic walk with the guy next door? Or would you rather enjoy some time on your own? The choice is yours, and the possibilities are endless. So yeah, there's definitely, there's a market for this. Um, there's definitely a target audience for this. 
wasn't me, but I did haul this in May as well. And the next three are the graphic novels that I hauled. If you aren't interested, you know, you can skip through this, uh, but I'm really excited for all of these. I've read two um, of the three, so that's always a nice added plus as well. The first one I'll show here is Hawkeye Volume 2, Little Hits. I have not read this yet. Um, we picked up Volume 1 quite a while ago, and we've been trying to branch out a little bit more into some more Marvel comics, because uh, we own a lot of DC. And we've had the first volume. We really enjoyed the first volume when we read it and picked it up uh, four years ago now. Um, so we figured we'd try to pick up the series, pick up the series again. We both really love Hawkeye, and so we figured we'd pick up Volume Two. We won't really talk about too much too much about this because it obviously has spoilers from Volume One, but it just follows Hawkeye in his adventures, um, and. It just follows Hawkeye in some adventures, and I'm really excited to pick this up. We also picked up Spider-Gwen Volume 3 Long Distance this month. I have already read this, gave it three stars. I'll talk more about it in my wrap-up, but uh, this is just the next volume in Spider-Gwen's uh, adventures. It does have some parallel, it has some of the parallel Earths with Spider-Gwen, so you get a couple of uh, Spider-Gwens from different dimensions. The series is all right, not loving it, not hating it, but we um, are hopeful that each volume gets better, but they're all kind of the same. But this is the next volume in the series. It's volume three. So we picked this up. That will be picked up in May. I am so excited. I've read this. Absolutely loved it. And that is Fence Volume 2 by C.S. Bacat, who is the author of the Captain Prince series. This series I am so in love with. It's absolutely adorable and so much fun. It follows boys at a fencing academy. This volume I have been waiting on since it came out in like January. My comic book store has had it on like backlog list for months and they were always out and um, I'm so excited that it finally came and finally was restocked so I knew I had to pick it up. It was like the last volume too um, but I have read this. Absolutely loved it. It's such an adorable just innocent kind of middle grade YA um, series that follows boys in a fencing academy. There's some um, uh, male male romance and just a lot of friendship and um, comic friendly healthy competition and it's just an amazing series. I absolutely love it um, and the art style is absolutely adorable. I just love everything about this series. I'm so excited to have this volume. I cannot wait for volume three to come out um, but yeah I picked this up, read it, absolutely loved it and really excited for volume three. So these are the three graphic novels and three books that I hauled in May. Let me know in the comments below what you guys hauled in May, if you've read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.